Welcome back, my friends. This is Eduardo Restapo, Mr. Roboto. And we're going to do our four video, four tutorial in English. And we want you to please visit the different tutorials that we have. Okay. Uh, going to put a link here for the first one. Okay. So we have tutorial number one is just the basics, how to move, how to draw, do something, some basic shapes. Tutorial number two, operators, how to use the controls um, and sensors. Number three, more sensors, logical operators and more stuff. And today we're going to learn how to use the magnet, how to do different routines that we can repeat over and over and like subroutines inside of routine. So what we call nested, nested routines. Um, so it's one inside the other. So we're going to learn how to do that. We're going to use our this mover map. Uh, here we are in our software, br.bex.com for Bex code BR. Remember, all this is very useful for what we do in RoboJam. So we're, I'm going to I'm going to put here the link somewhere um, in the description so you can go and visit RoboJam.life as well. In case you want to practice and put in case you want to put into practice what you are learning here, we have a robotics competition all around the world. We have, we're right now in 10 different countries. So hopefully you will be with us soon. Okay. That's it. We're going to go ahead and teach you how we're going to do it. So first thing, we, I can go step by step and, and, re, and retrieve <coughs> this disc one by one in the following way i can go ahead and tell my uh, simply tell my robot to go forward each square is 200 millimeters so if i just go forward 200 it's one square right so i need to go one two three four squares forward so i can say hey you know what go Four square forwards, each one is 200, so it will be 800. And activate the magnet. And then I can do the same. Reverse 800. And deactivate magnet. So you can see the energy, the magnet has to boost and drop. So boost is to pick up and drop is to leave it. So look, right now it's super slow. I didn't change the velocity. It's just picking one up, leaving it here. Ah, I put reverse by mistake. So I have to put drop and I can continue like that. Oh no, I made up. <laughs> it was reverse. It was just because it stopped there. And the second one is two more squares. So it's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six squares. So that means 1,200 or 1,200, however you do it in your country. And for the third one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares. So it's 1,600 or 1600 however you want to say it and this is what it's going to do uh this is the step-by-step -step solution i uh, some are going to find it the easiest one to do it yeah it's easier to do it that way yes it just can take forever <laughs> especially to keep track of all the commands right it can be uh, a struggle so what we can do is i'm just going to go ahead and put it faster first so drive velocity and turn velocity we're going to put it to 100 and we're going to repeat this it's going to be way faster and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the control blocks um, and the sensors in order to pick up the different uh, objects so 
I'm just gonna go ahead and erase all that. Boom, ciao. Okay, now I'm gonna do this. You know what? Repeat three times. Why three times? Because I have three different discs and for each disc, I'm gonna do the same thing. What I'm gonna do for my disc. First, I'm gonna tell it just to drive, drive forward. Yes, until and wait until wait until and wait until the down eye the down eye is near of object i can put object or i can put uh, that it detects the color right let's try with object when that happens i'm gonna activate the magnet yes I'm going to turn 180, so it's going to return, it's going to look down, okay, it's going to look that way, right, so turn uh, right, 90 degrees, and then I'm going to put it right forward, And he's gonna wait until. Uh oh, and he's gonna wait until the front eye. Why the front eye? Because we have here, um, like a barrier, right? So he's gonna detect this border over here until the front eye, and then. This is 180 degrees, sorry. This guy has to do half a turn. And then he's gonna turn. And he's gonna uh, drop. Okay. Let's see if it works, okay? So I'm telling you, you know what? Repeat these three times. You're gonna go forward. When you detect the, the object at the bottom, energize, pick it up, turn 180 degrees, go forward. When you detect the wall, okay? You're gonna turn right 180 degrees and leave the disc, okay? Let's see if it works. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Let's see, let's see. Yes. Oh my, what happened, what happened? Okay. I'm having a problem right now, okay? The problem I'm having is when it's the, leaving the magnet, is dropping first uh, after turning. So when it starts driving forward, it's gonna detect it right away. So I'm gonna drop it and then turn right. Okay, Let, let's see if that works. I think it's just a matter of organizing things, but with the same blocks. Yeah, it works. It works perfectly. Look how nice it works. So I'm leaving it, then turning, and it works perfect. It's doing it three times. So Eduardo, that's more confusing. But look, it's less blocks. And now I'm gonna add something else. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be sure I position, after doing this, I'm gonna position my robot over here. How do I do that? Turning right, and I'm gonna advance one, two, three, four squares, which is 800 millimeters, and then turning left, okay? And that should do it, okay? So turn right, tie forward 800, and turn left. Once I do that, I should be able to repeat that sequence three times and it's gonna pick up the blue, the red, and the green uh, discs, okay? That's the whole idea. That's what I'm trying to do, my friend. So hopefully it will work fine. Let's see if it does. Okay. Yes, 
now all i have to do is repeat this again so i'm gonna repeat it this series i'm gonna repeat it three times this is what we call a nested because it's one inside another one so i'm gonna put this to repeat three times this repeat three with that okay so i'm putting this is like you know like making a car yes i'm putting inside a car uh, a garage full of cars right okay or like making a little i don't know table that we're gonna use on top of a table something like that okay this is it this is how we're gonna do it this is the this mover these are the uh, the blocks i hope that it's clear for you just try and what i want you to do is i want you to try to explore to do different things like what if we just pick up one of each color at a time one blue one red one green for those of you that haven't noticed these these are walls okay so we cannot go through those walls okay in case you haven't noticed that part uh, this is working perfect my friend i think my friends i think it's great hope you liked it you can always you can always go to the different maps we have another one called um the disc uh, transport that's the one we use in, in the robo jam competition um it's a little bit more challenging but it's also with blocks it's also with colors so hopefully you will like it here something happened and it didn't detect the, the it didn't detect the first time but it detected the second one anyway so we can do it in the disk transport go ahead and you can explore it one of the things i i do with students is you know what go and um, pick only the red ones pick only the green ones pick only the blue ones i'm um, taking either to the blue green red it doesn't matter it also have this a little bit challenging because of what um these barriers these obstacles so it's very cool okay so i hope you enjoy it i think you understood this i hope you liked it and that's it so remember please 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 like always if you have any comments please write them down uh remember to subscribe to our channel and this was mr roboto robotica para mentes inquietas robotics for curious minds ciao ciao